Hello and welcome to my stream in which I listen to a lot of music that is sounds kind of loud to me. Um, so I can see your chat, but I want to. Let's see. Ah, yes, there we go. So. If you, um, if you can't hear me very well or you can't hear me over the music, let me know because I'm streaming from my, <clears throat> streaming from my laptop because I'm traveling right now on, on purpose, like a good thing for me, uh, visiting a friend who is hanging out with me while I watch numbers go burr. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we are, uh, in, in my life right now. Um, I went ahead and loaded this so that I could try to play with the volume control so that it was low enough to where it wasn't, like, gonna blow your ears out, but, um, yeah, I just, it was already, I guess it was saved in the cloud, but my gamepad button configuration wasn't, I guess that was based on the machine, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, welcome. I hope that if you're watching, you've backed the backer kit and that you are excited and have had a chance to at least open and look at the first couple of chapters. Um, I'm so excited for everybody to get a chance to, to see this, uh, to read it. Uh, right now, I'm kind of floored because this thing launched two hours ago. We're already over 50% funded. Um, we have 278 backers right now, and our current backer train is also at 278. And so what that means is that every, like when somebody backs, the timer gets reset to 10 minutes, and then it times down. And if it gets to zero, the backer train ends and the join number, whatever, start a backer train thing shows up and you you can essentially, it's over, right? After 10 minutes. If anybody backs within those 10 minutes, it resets the number to 10, which means that every 10 minutes or within every 10 minutes, we have had a backer. So there hasn't been like a momentary lull. There hasn't been anybody just, stopping um really, you know it, it's just been going which is great so uh i think that's pretty cool thank you to the 278 of you who have backed and aren't watching right now but maybe you're watching on youtube later anyway i'm playing chrono trigger as kind of my this was one of the games that really inspired my design work on at the gates not in like a direct way but more in an indirect way um it's also a pretty short concise game i've been playing it for the past couple of weeks and i recently uh decided that today i would be doing any question any questions that you have after backing the the backer kit if you want to you know say what you like about the settings so far if you want to, I don't know, congratulate me, whatever, celebrate with me our launch and that it has honestly been going so well. So um, I am going to, uh, so last time I played, oh man, a bunch has happened. So we got told that Magnus was, uh, had somebody had destroyed the planet. Um, <laughs> sent it into a, a, a post-apocalyptic world and uh, had a entity called Lavos that had been summoned or had shown up in, uh, in the future. And so we went to our time and decided, found out that uh, Magnus had summoned Lavos in the past um, when he originally attacked, uh, or was trying to summon Lavos when he originally attacked the, the Guardia. And anyway, we went back in time 
to the uh, to the the time period that Magnus was active in, and we are now trying to save Guardia from Magnus's armies of fiends. When we got to the location uh, that we thought Magnus was going towards, or we you know we stopped at this village, there was supposedly a little hero, a very young child who was the legendary hero who was supposed to find the legendary sword Masamune. Uh, that kid is running around these mountains that we're in right now. Okay, stop throwing stuff at us. I'm gonna have to fight these kids. Oh, I did not. Okay. Why are you over there? Alright. So, if I get too close to that, I'm gonna fall off. Oh no, is that like a... No, okay. Oh, this is our kid? I am the wind. Oosh, nope, they're just a random kid. What are you doing in here, kid? Okay, so there was a kid that thought he was the, everybody thinks is the legendary hero and let's got set into this mountain so uh thank you corbin for the congratulations oh look it, ah okay so this is the kid is the protector of the sword who will only let the worthy come through so this is the, this is masamune and chrono is probably the chosen hero Wait. Ah, big brother. Masa Mune. Ah, okay. Masa and Mune. Not again. I uh, thought you'd make a name for yourself as the hero by grabbing the Masa Mune. Did you? What a buffoon. Humans are all the same. It's how you use the sword that's important, not that just you have the strongest one. Ah. Masamune is the sword you carried all along. Um, Corbin is asking if at the gates has airship rules or timeship rules. So we do have the ability to make airships. Uh, they aren't super common everywhere. Um, we do have a little treatment on them in the setting. And the rules for timeships are not. There are no rules for time ships at all. Um, if you want to use rules for time ships, they would probably just function like airships, and then you would just narratively say that they can go forward or backwards in time perfectly. Much like Chrono Trigger, the problem, once Luna, once Luca figures out how to keep the gates open, they can travel back in time, back and forth through time flawlessly. They don't have to go randomly in time. Knowing that's true, I would do that for time ship rules. And for the airship themselves, uh, we don't have like a specific thing, but I would just say it's like any other vehicle, but it can fly instead of just going over land. And there are rules for building vehicles. So and we do talk about airships. There's I don't think we have an example airship, but it's been a while since I looked at which example equipment I made, so I don't remember. Alright, so we're probably going to wind up fighting these little kids. And then we've got to beat them so that we learn that the sword was within us all along. So, from what I remember, these kids cannot be hurt without magic. You're welcome, Corbin. I don't know if I need to take out one of these or multiple of these.
Ooh, how long has Athegate been in development for a second? We start, like, I think I contracted people and got the game itself started writing at the beginning of 2023. Uh, and then we... Sorry. Um... And then it finished, I mean, honestly, it finished development a while ago. Uh, we've just been waiting for the crowdfunder. Um, but yeah, it only took about a year to make. But uh, as far as how long I have been working on it, I kind of... Uh, I kind of pitched it to Rich, I think, in 2019. And then we... I kind of let it go because of, well, there was, you know, something going on in 2020. Um, I think it was... Oh, okay. So why can't I do anything? Um... Anyway, yeah, so there was, like, a thing going on in 2020. I didn't really do any work on it. Um, I finally wrote in a formal pitch that had a bunch of answers, like, setting and stuff like that. Um, and then Rich accepted it uh, probably in 2022. I think that we got a contract signed in like late November, December 2022, then I started the production cycle in January of 2023, and then so on and so forth. So it took me a couple of years once I originally came up with the idea to do it, to actually like really flesh it out and, and get it to a state where I could show other authors like, hey, this is what these things should do, these are the storylines you should write about, etc., etc. Oh man, it is the second phase of the boss fight. Look, this guy's a boxer. This is not going to end well for me. Cool. I was supposed to beat him. Alright, we're going to... From the bookmark, which I think is... Yeah, coming into here and talking to these kids. Ugh, which means I have to do the first fight again. I need to pay better attention to my health. Oh yeah, I gotta go up here and then... Oh, 
yes that's a uh, we just have to Masa again. Let's just kind of go through this quickly. Mm. Reveal yourselves. There are stretch goals for at the gate. We normally don't um, announce them and what they are until we've hit funding. So we are at 287 backers and $16,220. Um, our goal is $25,000. So we should have funding. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. All right, we should have funding soonish. Um, hopefully today, and then when they, when that drops, then we will announce um, any stretch goals. And usually, we announce stretch goals like three at a time, and then once we hit like two or three of them, then we'll announce the next ones. With our powers combined, we are unstoppable. I'm hoping we hit 300 before this is finished. The stream is finished, so I finish streaming in an hour and like 40 minutes, and I'm hoping that we are. We're at 300 people by then, that would be amazing. Hold on, uh, let me, it's hard to answer you while I'm doing this because of the kind of real-time nature of the combat, but, uh, oh no, she may not live. Any creatures in the game that have the potential to be at the gate's mascot, like a slime for Dragon Quest or a chocobo for Final Fantasy. 
Um, you know, I'm, I would say I want the, uh... Oh my god. Uh, let's get you up. Um... Finish this before I revive anybody. Yeah, creature. Hmm. Kind of want to let the fans decide that. Just gonna be doing this over and over again. I gotta be very careful about how I handle that vacuum thing. So this is happening. Vacuum wave, I just gotta let it happen. Oh, thank you, Corbin. Really appreciate that. We do, by the way, have um, a small, like, slime. It's not called a slime, it's called a laughing dew, but they are clearly inspired by slimes. And they could maybe be a mascot, but then I feel like that's kind of not cheating, but you know, like have my own like, cute little animal thing. Or a whirl. Get that done. Just do a potion on Chrono because that's not good enough. And then we're gonna do another combo after this. I'm supposed to use a sword on him or what? Like good at this right now. I'm so distracted by this thing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so Corbin just said, 
my uh, players in my homebrew D and D game got attached to creatures called Ridgebacks, which were deer, but their antlers grew like fins down their backs, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm so distracted right now. I'm gonna keep trying to do this fight over and over and over again. I don't know if there's something I should be doing. Maybe I need to be doing more combo attacks. I'm not sure. I it like I think there's a trick to this that isn't just do damage because it did a ton of damage. And it's the, you know, you don't need a special sword to be good. So let me try the cycling. Okay. Gotta get these guys first. So you can pick up secondary professions um, with an XP expenditure, and it makes it kind of like, it does, you don't get the primary, like you don't get all the skills from it, you get one skill from it, and then you get um, a, a pick from it, so you know, if you get an art or, uh, or a spell, uh, you get access to the whatever pillar. that profession would have access to. And that was for the... And yeah. So right now we only have single, even though you didn't ask this, we only have single profession, advanced professions. Um, but we will have... In the companion, we will probably have a combo... Like, you need both diviner and warrior for this profession kind of thing. I can't do that. <sighs> All right, time to figure out if we're supposed to try to do some combo things. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Uh, 
let's just have everybody do one regular attack. wave, let it happen. Stay alive. Storm and energy. Okay. I think this is okay. Oh man, we need four more backers to hit three hundred backers. Ugh. before I can have... Can do to stay alive here. Um, potion? Oh no. I'm gonna wait. Let's have you use a potion on her. Um, and it's not gonna work. Ugh. Potions aren't healing enough. Die. 
die again. Oh. Somebody's gonna die. Alright. Oh my god. Just... Yeah. Why? Why? What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Sorry, I'm just... Am I just not great right now because I'm too distracted or... Oh, man. Just... Powerful techniques like fire sword, clue, napalm, and heal with Robo, and an estimator will start to absorb wind energy or something like this. Ah, okay. I gotta use wind slash when he does that. Okay, so I am doing something wrong. Yay, I'm glad I was doing something wrong. That's <laughs> fantastic for me. All right, so when he starts, never tell me the odds. Ah, uh, you know what? I, uh, I am a never tell me the odds person. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. And I'm just gonna keep pressing the button. Which, is there a way for me to skip this? There's not, there's just, oh, this button. No, that button just moves the thing, and I thought that button was making it go faster. Fight them, of course. All right. Two backers away from 300. Just do lightning on one of them. I can't see which one, but it's gonna happen. Luca's confused. Me too, Luca. Uh, we're gonna heal yourself. Heal this. Potion on, I guess, yourself. Item potion on yourself. Come on, Laurel. Quit being confused. There we go. Our world. Fire. As an outsider, I'm always curious how big their reservations have. I feel like backers is an okay gauge, but no idea about sales numbers for drive through or others. Yeah, so that's 
that's interesting because, you know, like, we do have sales numbers, but I, like, I don't have them. I can't tell you the answer to that. Not that I think you're asking specifically, but, like, Rich and the other, you know, Matt know those information. Um, but I do think having backers is, not, you're not alone. I think other player, players, uh, other people who our fans or backers themselves kind of gauge how well our backer kits do as kind of an indication of how well a game is doing. All right. So I gotta do wind slash whenever he starts to do wind things. And that's... Oh yeah, sales numbers. Yeah, I'm not. Even if I knew, I wouldn't be allowed to tell you. At least not without permission from Rich, so. All right, powerful attacks. Uh, I actually want to do your antiquated bomb. And then Whirlwind energy dissipated. Ah, oh, somebody did tell me that I could use wind to come that wind. I'm such a silly person. last gaming session from last week and I have slept and ate and watched backer kit numbers go up and down since then. Oh, so you're going to do wind slash, you're going to do aura, Red. Ding, 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 ding. Oh man, that's amazing. I'm so psyched. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, now where will we go? Man, where will we be when I'm done with this? Because that was 44 minutes in. I don't even want to take bets at this moment. Uh, has anyone who has, uh, backed and gotten the... I'm just gonna keep using one slash, please. Yeah. Uh, so if you've backed it already, do you have a favorite part? From what you've read or have you been able to have you had a chance to read it um you know i kind of oh. uh, this is dang oh. 
Rolling energy. All right, Marl, you gotta heal him up before he gets beaten to death. All right. Uh, yes, all the art that you see in the, the backer kit is, uh... <sighs> oh, yes. Perfect. Sorry. Uh... So all the art that you're seeing will be in the final product. We got uh, Mel to do some of the art, and it is just fucking gorgeous. Um, she is a fabulous artist. I love her stuff on Exalted, and I specifically asked for her because she is honestly really cool. Oh, and she's a really cool person. The nations are in, um, oh, they may not be in the, the backer kit this week. It may be next week. So, yeah, you'll get to see all of the nations, I think, next week. So close, one hit point. say is the key gameplay element of At The Gates that defines it. Um, I think it is the premise, uh, oh, gameplay element. Can you clarify, do you mean like mechanical gameplay element, like the thing that makes it different from the other Story Path Ultra games, or are you talking about like a setting element that you engage with through gameplay? is the correct owner.
Right. Okay, so, so Corbin clarified, uh, like how in TC Trinity Continuum Assassins, they have the ability to increase scale by making opportunities to one-shot targets. So, right, so what mechanical kind of element, uh, like how in Exalted they run off charms, and that's how they primarily interact with the game system. How does that the Gates characters interact with the game systems? Okay, so I think the biggest thing for that answer is... Uh, so you have arts and magic, and you are, I think, your arts kind of define how you engage with combat a lot, um, they, and they have a lot to do with momentum. And so they, they pull on momentum to be able to uh, do more effects. So depending on how much you um, you have in the pool, so readiness, if you have like a certain amount in the pool or more, then you get like a readiness ability. And then if you have no uh, momentum in the momentum pool, you have the uh, desperation effect. And that kind of like we key off of momentum and often they are momentum spenders is a cool way to have this like interaction with the system and the game like an interaction with momentum i think that a lot of other games don't interact a lot of the other story path games don't interact with um which encourages you to do bigger actions to spend momentum uh, so, you know, pumping your uh, dice pool up with enhancement or other such things. Or you, um, you know, take bad hits so you can earn more uh, momentum to then be able to feel those things again. So I think there's, yeah, the dynamic constantly emotion interaction is kind of really cool. Um, and also... Uh, I, if there is a defining thing that I think is a little different from other games and that the way you cast magic is very, you just can, uh, there's the resource is simply like how, how many times have you already cast this, this specific spell, dynamic spells can be cast all the time, anytime, there's no, you know, just keep doing it but the higher level spells are once per scene or once per session. And I really like those kind of interactions because there's also an expendable resource that lets you reset uh, some of those cooldowns. And so the, the like interaction between here's this really dynamic arts and momentum like system that play off of each other and then you can supplement it with your magic whenever uh, whenever you want. So I think that is kind of my my take on its its gameplay element that really defines it. Oh man, and I was clicking around, so there we go. Uh, we have found Massimune. I forgot. For, this is Frog's weapon, so we get it broken, and then we get to bring it to people. Ooh. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Love that this game teleports us out of dungeons. I mean, I would love, Corwin, for you to... Corbin, oh my god. For you to uh, run it as a stream with some people. That would be fun. Um, okay, so Frog was in here. I don't know if this is actually what we're gonna... Okay, I don't want to fight your friends. I just want to go in the, the little... Alright. Do I need to fix it first? Oh, just... Yep, I gotta fix it first.
Oh, I forgot that Luca was... Oh yeah, poor Travis, you've got all that. Is this I can't get both of them, can I? Okay. I'm gonna set you on fire, little buddy. Yeah, but Travis is running OPPCon, essentially for us and coordinating everything there, so running games is kind of hard right now. I don't envy that job. Oh yay! Moral and cure. Okay. I don't, I don't want to fight you. Okay, what I need to do is I need to use a shelter I have so many of them. Look at that. Way better. And then I also need to save. And then I need to maybe go back to town here and talk to some people. The elder. Spice jerky. And the elder. Elder's house, but I don't see the elder. Oh, it's this guy. Nope, you're in my way. Magic keys. Okay, these people. get the messy for these people in this other town which is up here. She just told me Ah oh, yes. Marco has not returned from the war. This elder is the one who said, hey, go get me the mass of me. The rainbow shawl, we can make a prismatic armor to stand guard in this place by trusting the man. Yeah. Was I right to believe him? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Resistance. Okay. It's locked. I mean, let's go to the end. Right, this guy told me that about the building energy. Succeeds perish. Right. So the explorer is no longer here. The last I saw, he was down here. Is this end? Yeah, okay. I think this is where I need to talk to you. It's on a small island. I don't know which one. Okay. Huh. Huh. Here, let's go out from our own village. Fantastic. Also, I think I missed that this guy was standing in the corner earlier. Magic cave. A share hall. There's part of the castle gate. A host of fiends strolled right in. Okay, yeah. Talked to him last time. Alright, we need Elder's house. I went in there already. Talked to his house. Maybe I talked to his family. Plucked the badge from the floor of the tavern, some besotten Frogish fellow dropped it as he stumbled out. Ah, this is where it is. The hero business, I have had enough. Here you can have the badge. Okay. I knew it'd turn out to be something like this. I ought to have seen it sooner. <sighs> Sick was going around bragging everyone he raised a hero. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure both our feet stay on the ground for his dear departed one's sake. Well, good dad. Um, I don't know that there's any uh, enemies that will strike fear into the heart of players. I mean, their characters, yes. The players themselves, eh. I mean, we did base a lot of the game and its abilities uh, on uh, these guys. Okay, there was a rock, that's why. Um, on like, fine, you know, JRPG stuff, and, and none of those things are really horrific. They're more strange or mysterious or things like that, so. All right, we have returned, and there's a badge. So you met the lad. Not a thing I can do against the fame lord. Item would require the legendary Masamune, which is, uh, well, it matters later. I don't think, okay, Tom Berries might be a little scary, but I don't think they're scary in the sense of like, I, I have bad dreams about them. <laughs> Now we can have this conversation about the Masamine.
Melchior. That guy from Medina Village. Right, Melchior created this sword all along. Yep, there are none alive. Oh, that thing is what causes the fight. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of it that way. I was thinking more like... What actually scares them as opposed to what is just meta-scary. Like, oh man, I really don't want to be fighting these guys because they're going to kill all my dudes. Snakes attack the little froggy guys. I should attack the snakes. Oh man, why am I doing magic? I should just be silly me. There we go. Okay, so we gotta go back to. We gotta go back across the bridge. And then back into these woods. Oh no, it was somebody's house, wasn't it? Um I think it was this residence? No. No, it wasn't the inn. Was it up these mountains? Where I originally came in. I think it was out of somebody's cupboard, but now I don't remember. Maybe that was in. Okay, then it must be here. No? Oh, got a shelter. Okay. Weird. Uh, is it over here? No, that's that thing. Okay. Uh, there are not uh, eras that you can travel back to, uh, like in Corner Trigger. That is not currently uh, a thing. Everything I need. Yeah, okay. Was, uh, was it upstairs in the end? I didn't think it was, but maybe it wasn't in truth.
Maybe it is here. I didn't think it was. I didn't think I had to come across here again. Oh, look at that. Good. Yeah, this was... No, yeah, see? Yeah, this is not... Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, it was here. Sounded like I was asking about a full-on detailed information about a time period before. Oh, so is this an age when the kingdoms had a mage problem? This is when someone decided to summon an army of demons. Oh, okay. There is a timeline of events, yes. Um, it's not, like, as detailed, like, um... It, it is not as detailed as, like, in this year this happened and in this year this happened. There's just kind of a description of what came before and what came now. And then, like, in the past, like, ten or so years, the kind of political situation. Um, so, that is... Uh, Medina is your home? Yes? No. Medina is not your home. Truce is your home, because I'm... Silly. So this is the future. Mm, we're not going there yet until we find out that we have to. Yeah, no, it's okay. You said there's eras or time periods you could travel to. Yeah, at the, yes. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was still part of that question, so. All right, Melchior is, was this guy, but he left. So, we go in down the, this way, down the this way. <laughs> And then, is he... It's just all this town? Gone. This town's here, though. Did we... Can we even go into this town? I don't want to go to the fair. Keep an eye on the house. But Melchior was, uh, yeah, he was in the, the mountain range that we crossed from, where that was near, Medina Village, so, um, but this was all last week, and <laughs> sorry, so much sorries for being so off my game right now. Okay, so Medina Village, that is where we needed to go, and we found him in the mountains. down here, Melchior's cabin. Right. Oh, 
you're back again. Come to see my, oh, this sword, it's the Masamune. How did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? Well, I come from the past. Dreamstone from which the sword was made, and that is go all the way to the deep past. It's a gl glittering redstone, once valued more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago, longer even than you could imagine, like the deep past. All right. Oh, I did not need to come down here, but I don't know why I did. Oh man, we are extremely close to 18,000 uh, monies. So let's, uh, let's look at this tent again. We can't do anything here, I think. Yeah, now that's going to be a future us problem. Oh, right, we gotta go through the time portal again. Which is not this house. It's, uh, this house. No, that's the end. Market residence. So, the distant past. Um, I think I want to take Robo with me. Um, uh, oh. Oh, that is the world when Lavos gets pulled in. Uh, uh, so that's probably worth doing you know, at the end of the game, because that's probably how we'll have to kill him. All right, so I'm going to take Boba with me just to uh, see how that goes. Mara. Yeah. I hate to get rid of Mara, but that's what's going to happen. All right, we're gonna go into the, the question mark. The Mystic Mountains, a billion years ago. And then there's nothing there, so we're just gonna fall a lot. Look at all these monsters. They're all green and scaly. Both human and dinosaur traits. Not sure this is the best way to handle these guys, but I'm on auto right now. <laughs> we need $65 to get to 18000 I really like this past uh, era, honestly. It's very fun. Especially this part.
also my favorite character. female is in a severely agitated state. Provocation is inadvisable. Man, I need that, like, on a little placard people could put over my head. Oh no, Chrono. <laughs> you strong. What name? Chrono name. Good name. Ayla. Yes, we're gonna accept Ayla. Me, Ayla. Ayla likes strong man, so Ayla like Chrono. <laughs> Got a new friend. I just realized that Chrono has a little bit of a, a harem thing going on. Oh man, you're right. I should get a plaque and stick it. I could get like a green screen and maybe get like a little banner behind me so that it's not just not in my room, but it shows up on. So you have to focus on it when they talk to you. That's right. You're a strange person, but strong to you. This is because I'm a robot. <laughs> I'm so confused. What is a robot? Say no word, Ayla, not no. Ayla had go boom. <laughs> um. Amazing. Yes, I think it is Marl's harem. An explanation cannot be for me. Yes. Um. Top three companions. Uh. Uh, you know, I, hard to say, hard to say who my top three companions are. Come to village, talk and eat, dance and drink. Have fun. We'd love to go, but we're looking for some dream stone right now. Stone, stone everywhere, here, there, village. I give you stones. Ioka Village this way. Okay, what's this way though? Uh, yes, just jumping down. That's what's this way. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, don't make me pick favorite favorites. Ugh, eighteen k. Nice. I think it's gonna be good for Ayla. I'm gonna fight these dinosaurs. Um, let's get. I wanna do cyclone sweep. But. Yeah. Look at that. Some people. 
getting some robo tackle soon. TP seventy seven, yeah. Voila! Uh, super Sonic Spin. I love that. I love that for us. Throw some napalm at these guys. Looks like they want physical attacks, maybe. We hit 300 backers. We broke 18 grand. I just, I just don't know. I'm, I think my new estimation is that we're gonna have 325 backers in the next 30 minutes before I end this stream. So this is a forest maze and this is a village I'm assuming. Some people drink happy water, drink feel good, yes. And now we're gonna get, oh nice, happy water, yes. Uh, reptites, okay. No, we are not reptite friends. Hard to beat the reptites. Uh, you wear funny skins. I mean, we they're not skins. They're clothing. Um, but okay. And I'm just checking. We still have six viewers. Yes, that's fine. I appreciate the engagement that our six viewers have had. Hut north of village. Okay. And then redstone. Okay. So the dreamstone is with the chief. So let's see. Uh, this is not a thing. Just a chief's hut. Oh, right. Ayla, you're the chief. Uh, okay. Or are you the chief's daughter? Night soon. Finish ready for party. Come this way. We make a new friend, strong man Chrono. Chrono friend, Robo friend, Luca friend. Ooh, Luca. Now, dance. They're gonna do the dance. I can walk around while people are dancing. person. Yeah, good. You did. You you did it. Uh, so we're gonna... This is just the appropriate use of our time in the current situation. Amazing. Uh, should I or shouldn't I? She gonna dance? Okay. Skull smash. Next day, feel skull, skull feel like it got smashed. Amazing. Leader name Azala. Azala is very smart. Uh, all in Ion. Village fight, no fight person go Maruba village. Always run from reptite, always hide, not know where village. Uh, Azala wants to destroy Ioka and Aruba, both of them. 
but Ayala knew lose. Only an Ayala dead stop fight. Alright, so... here other than so maybe something I could press that would let me dance but I'm not I'm not sure it's with the mountain people same dance all night wind people mountain people sing sing and dance all night so I guess we leave and see what happens when we try to leave we cannot that was like a, a dance button all I can do is talk to people I can't I, I thought I had to dance oh ah uh, we should try some of the 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 drink, that's what it is. Are you a man or a mouse? Drink it in one gulp. Amazing. <laughs> ah yes, peer pressure. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do it again. drink with Luca cuz I'm okay this fluid contains immeasurable impurities <laughs> doing this until I'm stumbling around. Oh, can I go this way? No. Do I have to talk to everybody? Big sing dance. Do I have to Red rock, okay. Where red rock, half rock, mean strong person. <sighs> ah, we've got to fight Ayla. Yep, we're gonna do it. Go get more skull smash. Oh no. Who drinks more? All right. Remember that drinking contest we did? Remember which button was B. Just bowls of this stuff, probably like fermented milk or something. Drink one more. <laughs> it appears that liquid induces peculiar behaviors in humans. Poor Luca. My head. Everybody else is gone. 
Where did these footprints come from? They look like reptite footprints. And the gate key is gone. This is bad. We have to go see Ayla. <sighs> she snowed. She, she just snoring. Chrono, awake early. Ugh, too much skull smash. Someone stole something important from us while we were asleep. What stole? Must be rub tight. She's still drunk. Alright, so we're coming with Ayla. Oh, we could just take Marl. Oh, man. I think I want to do that. Maybe village person sees it, and we're gonna... Uh, can we not go up these stairs? Yeah, we cannot. That's fine. <laughs> There's a hut here. We talk to this person. Fang, petal, horn, feather. Give me six, three each, two of a kind. I give you... Something good and strong. Give no thing, no thing. Give me six, three each, or two of a kind. Lightning stuns dinosaurs. Did not know. Trade your shiny stone. Uh... So Petal and Fang, you get a Ruby Gun. Petal and Horn, you get a Shaman's Bow. Petal and Feather, you get a Stone Arm. And Fang and Horn, you get a Mammoth Tusk. Fang and Feather, okay. Okay, Ruby Vest is strong against fire, not too hot from where. Go hunting range, get the stuff. Oh, a rare monster comes out when it's raining. Okay, and then we can get the stuff from the trader. Cool. So we'll see if anybody in here knows. Rup. Go south into the forest maze, of course. Mini scary chief, be careful. Oh, we haven't seen Kino all day. Is he the bad guy? I don't remember. Rub tight strong. Take this. Got some potions. Follow footprint. Find rare lair. Yeah, let's go ahead and drink the happy water. Hard to beat, but we can electrocute them. So we're going into the forest maze, and we're trying to follow, oh, yeah, Kino. What did you do? You're so jealous. He stole the stuff because jealous. Marl. Fucking punched him in the face. They look like Kino best. Bad thing, not good. Yes, make kiss and make up. Well, I would love to give this thing back to you. But the reptites did actually take it from me.
the mint potion. Yep, so we're gonna go get this thing from the reptites. Through this foresty maze. Um, how do I get down from here? Oh, here. Okay, I see it. Okay, so there's... It looks like I only have really one way to go. Oh! Moomins! look at how we only have two minutes and 40 seconds left on the current backer train and if nobody backs then the train will finally end for today which I mean I guess like, that's not actually a problem um this is not the first kickstarter that I've been lead designer on actually uh the uh trinity player's guide I was the lead uh, developer on that, and then also uh, Adventure. I was lead developer on that. Uh, Scion Dragon. It's just this is the first one that is like my game that I've pitched, as opposed to a game that is part of a game line or something like that. I mean, it is part of that, maybe. Uh, it is part of. That this, this big old dragon thing did not care about lightning. Oh, it's a monkey guy. That's why. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, it's the first non-established IP, right? Uh, this this way. This this way. No, not that way. This one gives me a treasure chest. I think you water. Yes, I need those. Oh, this way. Oh, it's... Why are you going in a circle? Did I... Oh, this way? Yes. Okay, okay. Moomins and monkeys. Uh, let's see. Sword is weird because it's a uh, single person attack. Wasn't expecting that. But it did freeze the monkey. Wild. Just throw Chrono at Marl. Amazing. Just amazing. Oh, uh, existing IP, like, I can still pitch a project for the existing IP, but it is more about, um, I guess, like, I, I came up with a full setting by myself, as opposed to I made a game within somebody else's setting. Especially because, like, while Sire Dragon was not already uh, an existing, I guess, IP, as it were, uh, per se, it was uh, part of the Scion line. Oh, this is, this is, like, not the way they went. Oh, this is the way they went. Dinosaurs. How's lightning on the dinosaur? Yeah.
We're at 324 and I've got 14 more minutes. Okay, we got a one. Okay. Uh, this is up there. What's down here, I guess? This is the way they went. So what's up here? Which is not the way they went. Oh, but there's... Why are there tracks everywhere? Dang. Okay. Golden eaglet. Upside down bird. Uh, I can't wait for it to find either. Oh man, I'm just super excited for everything. <laughs> that bird drank too much skull smash, yes. Golden eaglet has turned red and it's shooting fire. <laughs> I'm not sure I appreciate where the fire came from. says he wants to keep all the praise to me and my team. Um, my team was absolutely fantastic. Everybody really understood the assignment. Um, they were so excited about the project whenever I told them about it. I just, you know, everybody I've talked to, everybody I've shown the project to has always, has just been so excited. And maybe it's because I surround myself with the same kind of nerds. I don't know, but, uh, Thank you for, for your kudos. All right, well, let's see what's up here. Oh, dang. This does feel like I'm going on a... Okay. Oh, I missed that treasure chest. That's what I did. Okay, well, we made it to their base, but I... Go back in because there's two treasure chests I missed. Uh, I'm gonna do a lightning. I'm gonna do an attack. We hit 325, we have 11 minutes left in the stream. So that brings us to $18,890 on the back, the backer kit, which I guess my new goal is 19,000. It's only $110 to get there. So let's see if it happens before I leave the stream. way yes going this way to get back to the treasure chests I missed. It's just a hundred and ten more dollars. Man, I'm excited. I will say that it is interesting to me to feel um probably my projects are maybe something that I'm not used to caring so much about not that I don't care about my projects but like I'm not quite as invested as I am in this and so it does feel different it feels like a a different level of crowdfunding than I have normally been kind of subject to as as I have been a creator on crowdfunders that have you know I've been you know pay attention to the whole first day is often just 
a total loss for me because uh, it is just so difficult to do anything other than watching. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know what? That's a great question, and I will I will tell that story. So the question is. How did the decision to put at the gates into the earth being cycle happen? And so um, I don't actually know when the earth being cycle started up uh, as far as like the concept for it and all of the, uh, the games that were planned for it, the world below, et cetera, et cetera. My guess is and I think Rich has talked about this a little bit when, and I, it's just I don't remember exactly the timeline of it. So Matthew pitched the world below to Rich in, I don't know, back in like 2018, 20, I don't know, 2018 maybe. Um, and he was like, hey, I came up with this idea in one of our PathCast five minute uh, pitch episodes where we kind of put together a pitch for a game in with a five minute time limit with like a bunch of parameters around it. And he came up with the world below. He thought it was actually gonna be kind of something cool and that it was a game he was thinking about making. And so he told Rich, he was like, hey, can we make this game? And Rich was like, you know, a fantasy game would be cool. There's some other fantasy games that I have been pitching around forever from, you know, either from back in White Wolf days or in ex, ex, it, so on and so forth. And so those uh, projects were already, you know, in Rich's mind. They weren't part of the Earth Cycle yet. And he said, what if we try to link all these things together in some way? And Matthew was like, cool, we'll, we'll put together some pitches. Uh, we'll write up, you know, kind of a, a draft of maybe how they're connected loosely, um, or at least ideas, and uh, give it a name, okay? And then when I pitched later, when I pitched at the gates, Rich's response was, hey, you know, two things. One, how is this game different from Exalted? Which was not like a bad question to ask. It was more of a, hey, I'm seeing like anime-ish, you know, vibes from what you're talking about and you know magic everywhere a, a world that is kind of based in elemental magic so how is this different from exalted so you know i was like oh in all these ways let's you know let me talk about it and then rich was like you know i really like this project um and we have put together this earthbane cycle Take a look at it, and if you think that this game can fit within the cycle, we would be interested in picking it up and putting it in. So I got a lot of agency to decide, you know, do I want to put At The Gates as part of this cycle, as part of this kind of universe of related fantasy games? Um, and there were a lot of parallels between what was going on in the world below and what was going on in some of the other games. Um, and again, I'm blown away. We just hit uh, $19,110. So we hit that little fun streaming goal as well. Um, 230 backers. We got five minutes. <laughs> so just, I'll just keep saying things and, and willing it into existence. Uh, yeah, so At The Gates kind of had a lot of parallels going on with what they were doing in the in the Earthbane cycle. And so honestly, to get it to align with some other stuff to essentially say like, okay, you know, how do I make this world a little more cyclical? How do I kind of point to some of the other games that we had um, pitches for? Um, that didn't take me a whole lot of, of tweaking on the initial pitch and the, the setting that I had come up with to make that fit in. So it's actually a really good fit. So it is 
its own game line, its own IP, and it is linked in the Earthbane cycle in kind of our, you know, a lot of people are like, what, what does that really mean? How are they connected? And really, they're connected. They're connected in ways that even, like one of the reasons that we aren't saying it is because we don't necessarily know all the ways they're connected yet. We have an idea. We have kind of a very loose framework of how they're connected. But all of the ways that they're connected, all of the interconnection hasn't been set in stone yet because there are more than just these two games that we have ideas for. Now, when the next product one will get into production, when the next one will you'll hear about, I don't actually know. I don't control that. I am not in charge of that. I'm really just in charge of at the gates. Um, but it honestly does have a lot to do with how well uh, the world below did and now how well at the gates does. So, you know, if if we see a progressive world below ended at 60K, which was phenomenally good for a brand new IP, um, if we beat that number, then that means that we're growing a following for the Earthbane cycle or games like it. It's not 100% what that means. It may just be more people were interested in JRPG style fantasy, high fantasy, than they were in kind of a darker fantasy world uh, that's a little more dungeon crawly. So that could be it also, but it does essentially help us recognize that we are able to reach markets that are interested in fantasy games. Uh, are there possible hints to the next Earthbane cycle ideas in the existing ones? They, they are, are, but they are in such a way that you would never be able to extrapolate. Like they are such hidden Easter eggs in my opinion that there is no way for you to know what elements are there and what they are hinting at and what settings they are hinting at. So there are some names that are similar. There are some, uh, you know, even, you know, you look at the world below and at the gates and there's this well of creation. Those existed independently of each other in our two pitches before at the gates showed up in part of the Earthbane cycle. That was one of the things that I did not have to change that already existed in my pitch. So, you know, are they a connection between the two worlds? Maybe. Or will the other worlds have uh, connections to the Well of Creation? Maybe, but those haven't been written yet. So, yeah. Uh, so Chandra says, my problem is that the world below was fully underground barely interested me. Oh, I wanted to do well, yeah, and that's most definitely not my wheelhouse. I prefer visit underground. I like the sky too much. You know what, uh, Chandra, I also like the sky, and I also, I'm one of those, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I woke up really early this morning because it's been, you know, it's, it's one of those like, oh man, I'm really excited about this thing that's about to happen, and I, uh, I called myself a, you know, one of those filthy sun worshiping morning people. Um, and that is very true. I want to see the sun. I love it. Uh, I love it when it's uh, sunny. I love it when it's bright. I love, I love it. And you can't make me stop. So um, we are out of time. So I am going to, oh, I got to do it this way. Uh, I got to go through settings. I'm going to turn this off and uh, you know, if you if you're not a fan of JRPGs in the sense that you're here because you watch everything on uh, on Onyx Path stream, well, welcome and thank you. Uh, the world below is uh, is available, and if you're not interested in the world below, uh, At the Gates is a very different game. Even though there are connections, they are not. They're not connected in a sense that you need one to understand the other. You may not even, if you even if you have both, you may not even recognize all the connections that are there. Um, so they're definitely not necessary to enjoy each other. 
We are ending the stream with 329 backers. So we didn't quite hit 330. That's perfectly fine. We started under 300, uh, under 18,000, and we're ending at 329, over 19,000 uh, dollars. We are so close to funding. We only need about 6,000 more dollars, not even, to, to hit our funding goal and then start revealing stretch goals. So, you know, if you're, if you're watching this now and you have friends that haven't backed it, please go harass them. And if, uh, and if you have backed it, uh, you know, I really appreciate you. I really thank you so much for supporting us and supporting this. And I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye.